overnight. On the frozen surface, a father goose with his six recently hatched goslings. They've been lingering on the icy river surface, as if waiting for something or guarding it. Just a meter or two away from them, you can see a motionless goose beneath the ice. That's the mother goose, drowned and covered by ice. This kind of goose is known as the Egyptian goose. They treat love no less than humans do. Once they choose a mate, they stay together for life until death. Because of this, the father goose keeps the children with him, guarding the mother goose's body, reluctant to leave for a long time. Faced with this scene, the onlookers on the bank are all moved, including this man with 30 years of bird research experience, rarely seeing such a touching scene. With the loss of the mother goose, the goslings have a hard time surviving in this cold weather. In the world of Egyptian geese, male geese only go out to work and support the family, not caring for the chicks like the females do. So the man decides to rescue the stranded family. Due to the thin ice, people can't walk on it, making the rescue more difficult. So the man takes out a net and mobilizes some onlookers to help. They use sticks on the bank to drive the geese, and the man catches a small gosling with the net. The father goose attempts to attack to save the child, but is helpless. The man kisses the gosling, expertly tucks it into his clothing for warmth. It runs back and forth between the riverbanks, eager to rescue the other goslings quickly. Finally, all six goslings are rescued. People on the bank applaud and cheer, but the father goose is still below. He has just lost his entire family. The man doesn't want to leave the father goose behind, but capturing him isn't easy. After several attempts, he fails every time. By evening, the man returns to the riverbank. Finding the father goose still guarding the mother's body, he brings a net and his own child to entice him. The father goose immediately raises his head upon hearing the child's voice, then without hesitation, rushes toward the goslings, and assumes an aggressive stance. The man tries to grab him, but without success, he can only use the net. Still, he can't catch him. He lies on the ground and casts the net again. Finally, he succeeds. The man's tense heart can finally relax for a moment. At this point, the people standing upstairs, wave and give thumbs up to the man. The family can finally be reunited. More importantly, the goslings are safe and sound, no longer at risk of freezing outside. The man puts them in the bathroom at home, providing them with food and water. The father and his chicks are peacefully together, but what was feared happens. The father goose seems melancholic. He refuses to eat, always flying to high places to look outside. As the saying goes, a child without a mother is like a rootless plant. So the man creates a heater to keep these poor goslings warm. The next day, an unexpected event occurs. The father goose FLIs away from the window. The man hurries out and looks around. Finally, he spots him in a body of water. Seeing the lonely figure of the father goose, the man is once again moved. He tries to catch him, but he FLIs away again. It said that the father goose flew back to the frozen river to guard his mate. At this moment, perhaps the man